stick around for the video after to see what we're gonna do here. How you doing? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today's video is brought to you by Sanze. Sanze. Sanzi. Today's video is brought to you by Sanzi. The LED specialists they are. You know what? With Christmas just around the corner, have I got something to show you from Sanzi. Sanzi sent me out one of these Christmas spotlights for your house. You know how you make your house look all nice and spotty? Well, that's what this is for. So he sent me out outdoor LED floodlight with different colors. So we'll get her out of the box here and I'll show you what she comes with. She comes with basically a, an anchor for the wall if you want to put it on the wall. And it comes with a light and it also comes with a remote. So that's pretty decent. You can mount this anywhere. It's pretty heavy duty. It's not by all means light. It's a pretty nice solid friggin light. So let's plug this thing in here and we'll show you. Remember, Christmas is around the corner like I said before. Christmas is just around the friggin corner. Do I have a cord? Probably not. Yes, I do. One thing that is nice about this floodlight is you don't have to look for a three prong extension cord. It's a two pronger. So you can use any old extension cord you want. And I bet you that's something that nobody else has mentioned in the review. Friggin' right it is. Number one, El Guno, El Rono. Number L10 to duo with Addo. So let's plug this in the wall and we'll get to demonstrating some friggin' bright lights. Oh, wow. So as you see, we got red and it's got with mild dimming. Whatever you do, don't look right in the light. Look over here, because you don't really need to look in the light. But I'm telling you right now, this thing is bright. So if we go to, uh, we can go white. So it's got strobe light. We can go red, strobe light, red. Oh freak, hold on a minute here. I don't know how to use it. So basically we got green strobe. We got red strobe. M4 strobe, which is multicolor kind of DLA. We got blue strobe, oh, orange. You got coal, you got gold, purple, pink, yellow, orchard, navy, ango, lime, aqua. You're freaking right. So you can go smooth where it changes different colors by itself. And it'll do your amber on your house and it'll make it look really decent. Or you can go fade in and out so it will fade to different colors. There you go, see? You can go flash so it flashes between colors. You can go, like I said, I already showed you the strobe one. And then you got these other little dials that do... I'm not too sure what the hell they do, to be honest with you. I should read the instructions on that one. Sounds good. You can get, obviously, you can get two, four... Eight. Holy. Which one's this? That's that one. We got that one, but there's one bigger. The 70 watt one we got, but you can get a 100 watt one. 18 lights. But we got the 12 lights on this one. So there you go. If you want to pick up your light for your house to light it up at night, go over and see Sansy there. I'll put the link in the description below for this light, and you can check them out. Maybe you need to buy one for your house before Christmas gets here. Instead of putting up stringers everywhere, you just throw one of them up. Bob's your uncle. Friggin' right, Bob's your uncle. Thanks for sending that out, by the way. Sansy. Appreciate it. Why wouldn't you? They've been supporting quite a few of my videos. They have. Careful! So anyways, now that we're done that part of the video, we're gonna talk excavator here. Now I've been using this excavator by Hi uh Hi what is it? Hi Hyundai? Hyundai? Hi Hu Hunina? Huna? Hunina? Fuck I can't even say it, Jim. What does that say? Right there. Huina. Well I'll be dipped. So today we're gonna talk about the Huina excavator. This excavator here. I'll tell you the thing that I like and I don't like about it. It's now that I've been using it. This thing here works good. But I've already got a servo that's clicking really bad like you've seen in the last video there. Um, it's got a little bit of play in it and this one's clicking. I've had a few issues with the controller. The controller's not that great. But other than that, the machine works really good. Now, if they... They got another, they sent me another controller to try, so we're gonna see how that goes. But what it is is the controller sticking, so when you stop, 
when you feel it overworking, it doesn't stop right away. It still continues to try to go, which is actually gummed up this uh, servo in here. So I'm going to have to order another servo now of this, or I'm going to call them because it should be warranty because it was a remote caused issue. So if you're having a remote caused issues and yours is new, leave me a comment down below and let me know because I'm curious to know I am because I don't like that when it, that happens. Do you? Probably not. I don't even know how it goes in there to be honest with you. Looks like there's a screw in there, but maybe it's covered with something. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Leave your comments down below if you know how that's in there. How is that in there? For God's sakes. But the smoker works really good on it, as you see in the video, and it's got good power for what it is, for not being hydraulic. It's just electric, so it's pretty good. So I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I might end up uh, buying a loader. The only thing about the loaders I heard they're not true 14th scale so when you get them the cab is bigger now hopefully they change that with a new loader i don't know but if i get it and it's not a 14th then i'll be disappointed so hopefully you got her fixed up boys because i, I want it but the led lights work really good i did buy a quick release bucket thing so you can just take the buckarooski off and then you can put it on backwards if you want or you can put on the other, you know, whatnots and this and that. But let me know what you think of this because I'm just curious. Let me grab the remote and we'll fire it up again. Oh, careful. So when I was playing with it before on the video, I didn't have the noise on. So it does have noise if anybody's wondering. See, there you go. You go up. Scoop, okay. Jim. How you doing? Up, scoop, down, in, up, down, up, over. Look at that, eh? Better than my phone in case that falls off and break my phone. This gear is pretty cool though. It does do a full rotation. As you see, oh yeah, and it does have a smoker, as you know, which is right there. Check that out, Jim. That's pretty awesome. The other thing it has too is it has an auxiliary doodad. So if you want to stick your ding dong on there, it comes with this thing too, which is a concrete breaker upper sledgehammer type deal. Check this out. Oh yeah. That thing wouldn't give penetration. I don't know what would, Captain. But this is just kind of a close-up video on this thing and a little review video on the light there. And, and you know, I just wanted to fill you in on this and see what you thought of it. And you can let me know in the comments below. The old Chevy Silverado's come along pretty good. I uh I got it painted almost. Still gonna paint a little bit. The upper, the upper control arms are going to be changed after the motor's back in because I can work on that later. I just need the room. I need to get the engine out of the way and stuff like this. It's sitting in the driveway. That's no good. So I'm going to get the inside of the frame painted around the frame firewall. We'll get the engine shoved back in her, get the tranny back in her. Then I can measure up for drive shafts and then we'll start on the uh, upper and lower controllies because I can get them from the outside because the wheel wells are out right now. So that's a little update video on the truck. I gotta fix my skylight still. I did finally paint the trim for them. I got little fans coming we're gonna put up in the skylights to helpfully keep the moisture out of there. Just to, you know, cause they condensate like crazy. Let me know in the comments below if you have a friggin' pair of skylights to condensate all over the damn place. I'm curious, I really am. But this is just a short video on what I think and what I'm gonna try and what's really going on. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Glad you're all still sticking around. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you've been up to. And this and that and the other friggin' thing.